رجیم try to outdo each other for maghfira and janna of allah subhanahu wa taala you know allah subhanahu wa taala has put in our fitra some inclinations love that we love certain things in this dunya we have certain behaviors we have certain inclinations and by very nature allah subhanahu wa taala wants us to take advantage of those instincts love and inclinations islam is the only religion which endorses to use those abilities and qualities and attributes that allah subhanahu wa taala has put in our fitra zuyyana lin nasi hubbu shahwati minan nisa'i wal banina wal qanatiril muqantira in allah subhanahu wa taala with positive connotation is saying that allah is the one who has beautified the love of women the love of children the love of wealth and islam encourages us to use and utilize to your advantage that's why in one of the hadith somebody asked prophet sallallahu alaihi what is zuhd and piety that i am more devoted to the religion the prophet's reply was zuhd is not that you stop using what is allah has made halal for you zuhd is not that the bounties allah has given you the mal wealth allah has given you just you throw that away rather zuhd and piety is that your reliance is more not what you have in your hand but your reliance is more what allah has for you that is zuhd my brothers so allah subhanahu wa taala and our deen encourages us but you know quran gives us the perspective quran teaches us that these desires this love you have these inclinations you have but you have to make sure you keep them checked and you keep them focused and you keep them in the right direction because if you will keep them checked and focused that not only that you will have reward with allah subhanahu wa taala but in this duniya also allah will give you regard allah will give you dignity allah will give you honor that's why we see in our everyday life that the people who keep their wishes their desires checked they are more dignified people in the community journal public loves them respect them because they are not slaves of their desires allah gives honor that allah put respect for these people in the heart of the people my brothers that's why one time buddha was asked about the misery of the world and the reply of buddha was the misery you see in the world the pain you see the suffering you see is because people have uncontrolled desires to decrease this pain the only way is 
that you keep your desires and love and wishes of this dunya checked in control. My brothers, today inshallah, you know, I'm going to talk that Quran is the book which gives us the right perspective. Ya ayyuhan nasu qad ja'atkum mu'izzatum mir rabbikum wa shifa'un lima fi sudur wa hudan wa rahmatun lil mu'mineen. قُلْ بِفَضْلِ اللَّهِ وَبِرَحْمَتِهِ فَبِذَلِكَ فَلْيَفْرَهُ هُوَ خَيْرٌ مِمَّا يَجْمَعُونَ The ayah which I read in front of you before from Surah Al Imran in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was saying that I have beautified all these loves but do you know what is better than this? وَاللَّهُ عِنْدَهُ حُسْنُ الْمَعَابِ what Allah has is better than all the love you have, all the desires you have, all the wishes you have. قُلْ أَعُنَبِّيُكُمْ بِخَيْرٍ مِّنْ ذَلِكُمْ لِلَّذِينَ اتَّقَوْا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, ask them, do you want me to tell you what is better than the love of women, the love of your children, the love of your wealth, and all the wishes you have in this world, what Allah has is better. And the way is, لِلَّذِينَ اتَّقَوْ That you should run and rush for taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This Jannah and Maghfara is, أُعِدَّتْ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ That Allah has kept this Maghfara and Jannah for people of taqwa. And inshallah in few minutes, I will define for you what is taqwa and Ramadan is coming so inshallah let's get in the mode of preparation of Ramadan inshallah my brothers and my sisters you know our test in this dunya is that how we keep our desires checked and how we behave according to the teachings of Islam Islam is such a religion, you know, I was giving one dars of Quran, Surah Baqarah. And the ayahs which talks about talaq and khula, aili qawaneen of Islam. Sayyid Qutb, rahmatullah alayh, in his tafsir fi zalal quran says that when I was writing tafsir of these ayahs of talaq and khula, Ayah number 238 of Surah Baqarah, all of a sudden, in the middle of this discussion of talaq and khula, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, Hafizu ala salawati wa salati al wa qumu lillahi qanitin. Sayyid Qutub says that I was so puzzled that why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the middle of this discussion of talaq and khula, is mentioning about Salah. It does not go with the flow. And Sayyid Qutb says that I read tafasir of all the previous shayukh, but none of the explanation was making any sense to me until the time came for the third edition of his tafsir, Fi Zalal Quran. He said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put in my heart the meaning that between talaq and khula, why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioning about salah? He says the reason is that no matter what you do in your life, even if it's talaq, even if it's khula, or whatever happens in your life, if you will do that according to the teachings of Quran and the way of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu it will be like a ibadah, like you are doing salah. Like salah is a ibadah, same way when you will follow the footsteps of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu and the teachings of Quran, it will qualify same way ibadah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the beauty of our religion, my brothers and, and my sisters. You know the time and age we live in today, social media. Social media is a trend setter. Social media gives us narrative. 
सोशल मीडिया टीचेज अस हाउ टू लिव अवर लाइफ सोशल मीडिया टीचेज अस अवर एटीकेट्स अवर मैनर्स दीज डेज एज ए मुस्लिम आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क माई सेल्फ एंड यू दैट टूडे इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू एंड मी टू स्टे कनेक्टेड विद अवर रिलीजन यू नो अवर रिलीजन हैज इट्स ओन वैल्यूज इट्स ओन मॉरल्स our tahzeeb the way of our life the approach to life the perspective of life the perspective about life hereafter our religion has its own perspective and wallahi the amount of information we are getting through social media today we used to double our information in 100 years in the past the time is coming that we will double our information within 6 month time what we used to do in 100 years we will be soon doing in 6 month time changing and the focus is how we can take people away from faith our religion so i will suggest one thing this is a challenge for all of us as a muslim and the way out is our masajid the refuge we can get for these challenges is to stay connected with masajid and when i say connect with masajid means there is a responsibility of the people who are running islamic centers they they should have leadership in masajid that leadership is not only well equipped with the knowledge of religion but they should also know understanding of the society and the challenges of the community challenges of the ummah so they can guide they can guide the ummah in the right direction so wallahi this time will be time of vibrant active proactive islamic centers and leadership in the future if we really want to secure our umma our society our community the ayas i read in front of you from surah zariyat and surah hadid in which allah subhanahu wa taala is calling fa firru ila allah inni lakum minhu nazirum mubin that allah is asking you and me to rush towards allah subhanahu wa taala my brothers if we want to rush for to get to seek the pleasure and taqwa of allah subhanahu wa taala what is taqwa of allah subhanahu wa taala you know most of the people they say fear of allah subhanahu wa taala taqwa has many meanings the number one meaning of taqwa is that i should have fear of allah subhanahu wa taala not wrath of allah subhanahu wa taala that's why imam shafi and imam ibn taymiyah they have said one beautiful thing that when you do sin don't worry about the punishment because of that sin your concern should be the distance you have developed between allah subhanahu wa taala and you after you have committed that sin so your concern not should be the wrath of allah subhanahu wa taala the punishment of allah subhanahu wa taala but your concern should be the distance that you have created the hijab you have created the obstacle you have created between you and allah subhanahu wa taala the first thing is the fear of allah subhanahu wa taala the one who has loved me so much allah that who has given me this honor walaqad karamna bani adam that allah has given ikram to bani adam to the point insan is the best makhluq on this entire universe of allah subhanahu wa taala allah has asked all the angels to do sajda to insan including jibril alay salam including israfil there was no exception all the angels were directed to do sajda to this insan this insan that who allah has made khalifa on earth that allah has created him ahsan e taqwin the best of the takhleeq of allah subhanahu wa taala so my fear should be that my loved one should not get angry with me that is one definition of taqwa the second definition of taqwa is haya of allah subhanahu wa taala 
Hadith of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Allah deserves the most Haya That no matter where you are You are worried about Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala Haya is that khalish That pain That uncomfortable feeling you have inside When you are committing any sin That is Haya Urdu mein kehte hai na Woh khalish Woh chuban Woh taklif جو گناہ کرتے وقت انسان کو اندر محسوس ہو اس کا نام ہے حیاء My brothers that حیاء is the part of definition of تقوی تقوی also has شکر that how in the world I should be unthankful to my Allah رب العالمین that who has given me so many bounties so تقوی has meaning of شکر also in it but more importantly تقوی has That accountability That one day I will be standing in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Inni zanantu anni mulaqin hisabiya And I will stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala All alone And nobody will be there with me To help me, to support me Ma agna anni maliya Halaka anni sultaniya Whatever wealth I have collected Whatever position and status I achieved in this dunya, that day nothing will stand with me. So the meaning of taqwa is that I want to get ready for that meeting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in that meeting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to ask me the most important question. And that most important question is that as a khalifa, as a naib, as ashraf al-makhluqat, Masjud al-Malaik I have given you one responsibility And that responsibility was To propagate the message of this deen To bring everybody under the fold of Islam To invite people to become role model and ambassador of Islam This is the main reason Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prescribed salah for you and me Salah is not a destiny Soom is not a destiny Rather these things are to get me ready To become the ideal servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala My brothers and my sisters And that mission is Huwa allazi arsala rasoolahu bil huda wa deeni al haqq li yuzhira wa la deeni kullihi Walau kariha al mushrikoon This is the responsibility Part of taqwa definition is that Allah is going to ask me That did I send you just to pray or do some song and become good in yourself and re leave rest of the world in misery and pain? No, your responsibility was not only to take care of yourself but your family and the community as well. I want to share with you, you know, two, the meaning of two ahadiths of Prophet Muhammad and then inshallah I will go towards conclusion. In one of the hadith, Prophet said, and this was a journal instruction for caravan, go for tijara, business. Recommendation was that the caravan which leaves in early part of the day, they can reach to their destiny in time before the heat of the sun can bother them. There was another hadith in which Prophet said that you should do preparation of akhira. Like you only have today And for dunya Like you have rest of your life So for akhira you should rush And for dunya Take it easy My brothers From these two ahadiths If I give you a bigger picture of these two ahadiths Every journey We adopt If we start our journey When we have prime time So when we reach to our old age, when we are running out of our resources, that we are already on our destiny. You know the concept in India, Pakistan is that we will go for Hajj when I'm old. I will go to Masjid when I'm old. But teaching of Islam is the other way around. That you should start this journey of seeking pleasure for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when Allah has given you your prime time. Your prime qualities, your prime abilities, your prime resources That you should rush 
فَفِرُّ إِلَى اللَّهِ You should rush towards the maghfirah and jannah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And try to rush. You know, if we have not learned anything from COVID-19, one thing as a doctor and as a community, we have learned. Life can end any second. And this is the very nature of life. Death can come any second. Doesn't matter, you were healthy, you never had any issue, no problem. Time is to reset the button of our life, my brothers. Wallahi, if you and me, we will not learn lesson from this current pandemic, then I don't know when we will learn the lesson. The lesson is that we should have a very focused life. Very fo We don't have time. A lot of time I have seen brothers and sisters, they spend hours and hours on social media. Wallahi, as a Muslim, we have a calculated time available. It's like you are in an exam room. Every second counts. So the message of this pandemic is that we need to put our resources together. We need to put our efforts together. And we should live life focused with the right direction. Focused with the right direction. And I will remind you one thing, my brothers, everything happens in this world happens for a reason. Everything you and me we come across is a question of our life. I'm standing here, this is a question of my life. Allah is going to ask me on that day that you were standing on the pulpit and giving khutbah. What was your intention? How good you did to deliver the message of this deen. Allah is going to ask me, my wife is a question for me. That how I behave with her. My mal is a question for me. That's why I say the Quran gives us the right perspective. One of the challenges of today's life is that human being, you know, Saadi at one point said, you know, Firon claimed that he is a God. He is, everything belongs to him. Because he has his army, his soldiers, his resources. We as a human being also behave most of the time as a pharaoh. Because we feel like, you know, whatever I am, because of my efforts, my intelligence, and my intelligence, my mehnat, my work. That's what exactly Karun used to say. Kala innama utituhu ala ilmin indi. These are the words of Karun. That Karun used to say that whatever wealth I have is because of the knowledge. Because I am self-made. This is a very common phrase we you know, hear every day. Quran gives us perspective. Whatever you have, this you will be asked on the day of judgment. This is a question for you. So my mal, my abilities, are question of this life that I have to answer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on that day. My brothers, you may go outside and come across somebody and you may not see that person ever in your life again. But how you behaved, how you acted and reacted with that brother, wallahi, your reward will be saved up until the day of judgment. How you behave at home, every action, Reward or punishment is saved up until the day of judgment. In conclusion, what I said today, this pandemic has wake up call for you and me. This Quran is the book that we should all go back to. The challenges coming, challenges we are facing today, to have right perspective of life on those challenges, the guide, the nur, the light will be this Quran. And I have recommended in the beginning of my khutbah that we all should stay connected with our masajid. Wallahi, we should attach ourselves to our masajid. And now responsibility falls on the shoulders of the leadership of masajid. That they should have leadership. That leadership is not only well equipped in the knowledge of deen, but also they should know the knowledge of the community they live in, the society they live in, the challenges Ummah is facing. And if we will have both of these wings on one page, 
inshallah these masajid in future can play a bigger role than what they are playing today i pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he gives you and me this tawfiq that whatever time is left with us wallahi take advantage of it respect that and every second is like my ice of my life is melting every second i am losing portion of my life so i pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that every second left in our life that we should take advantage of it and we should try to stay connected with our masajid let's go back to quran ramadan is coming you know our our success is the success of hereafter my brothers and my sisters because khairum wa abqa la aisha illa aisha al akhirah